Writing equations of lines. In particular, let's write the equation of the line that passes through the point negative 2, negative 11, and that is parallel to the line that contains the points 1, 1, and 5, negative 1. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll write another equation of the line, but this time the line will be perpendicular to this line, and it's going to pass through the points negative 2, negative 11. So to start, you should remember that the only two things that you need to write the equation of a line, you need a point and you need a slope. Okay, and then you can use y equals mx plus b. Okay, this is the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. Well, you can see that we're given a point. So we have that. We've got our negative 2, negative 11. And now anytime you have two points, you can always find a slope. So here we'll use these two points to substitute in our slope formula. Change in y over change in x. So that's negative 1 minus 1 over 5 minus 1. Negative 1 minus 1 over 5 minus 1 gives us a negative 2 over 4, which is a negative 1 half. So this line that goes through these two points has a slope of negative 1 half. Now, if we want to find the equation of a line that's parallel to this line, then we're going to use this slope because parallel lines have the same slope, right? Parallel lines have same slope. So now we're going to use the slope negative 1 half and we're going to use our point negative 2 and negative 11 and we can substitute in for the y equals mx plus b and we will solve for b. So for part a, to find the, the line that's parallel, you're going to use negative 1 half for your slope. We're going to put negative 11 in for y. m is negative 1 half, that's our slope. And x would be negative 2. And then we find out what b is. Okay, once we know m and b, we have an equation for the line. So you have negative 11 equals, that will give me a positive 1 plus b. Subtracting 1 from both sides, I get that b will be a minus 12. So for part a, our equation will be y equals, now our slope will be negative 1 half, x, and our b will be minus 12. Now for part B, for part B you want to do the same thing except for now you want it to be perpendicular. So you know that perpendicular lines, the product of their slopes have to be negative 1. So you look at this slope and you say what number should I multiply negative 1 half by in order to get a negative 1? And so we know it needs to be positive, and it's going to be the reciprocal, so it's just going to be 2. So for this one, we're going to use m equal to 2, and we're going to use the same point again and just repeat the steps, go through the procedure. So you have negative 11 equals 2 times negative 2 plus b. Negative 11 would be equal to negative 4 plus b, and adding 4 gives you that b is negative 7. So the answer for b would be y equals 2x minus 7. So if we were to graph these two lines, we should see that they should be perpendicular and they should cross through the point negative 2, negative 11. And we can see on the iPad I have a graphing calculator app and here are the two lines. Um, the red line is your A and the blue line is B and you can see that they cross and they look perpendicular 
and they're crossing at the point negative 2, negative 11.